If the sun does pop out again and cast some golden light on that there beacon, I'll be having it. All right, guys, this is this, oh, oh, so excited, so beautiful. Love this bike, right? <laughs> Kia ora, guys. Welcome back to New Zealand. Got a beautiful day outside. I've got a little bit of time on my hands. So I'm going to get the push bike out. Go for a ride around the uh, coastal tracks and uh, out into the wetlands and just make a couple of photographs. See what we come up with. It's just a spur of the moment thing and conditions are looking pretty good. We've got some high altitude, wispy sort of cloud. Reasonable temperatures around about 21, 22 degrees. The track I'm going to ride is called the water ride. I'm going to take the Fuji X100F. I'm going to take a selection of little filters. ND grads, that sort of thing. I'm going to take the Manfrotto mini tripod. I'm just going to top up the bike tyres because they're running a little bit low. Bit of a hit and hope and uh, see what we come up with. All right, guys, let's go.
just about finished with this bike ride now. All up van to van, it's round about 30 k's, which is which is pretty steady, nice and easy. Killer shot, my end shot, is gonna be the shipping beacon, or one of the shipping beacons. We've got two shipping beacons on the flight path of the runway for the airport. And a lot of people think that they are old beacons for the airport, but they're not, they're for the, they're for the shipping lanes out to sea. Uh, they've not been used for donkey's years, and uh, here they stay as a monument to things past. So I'm going to get a shot of this. Five minutes ago, I just pulled up on the push bike. The sun was out and it was, it was glowing golden. It was beautiful. Fortunately, there's a, there's a bit of a bank of cloud on the horizon there and the sun's just dipping below it. So uh, I don't know if it's going to pop out again. With a bit of luck, it will. If not, not all is lost because we've still got a little bit of milky light on the, uh, on the subject. We've got a lot of high altitude, wispy clouds above the beacon and uh, all around actually. And I think once that sun drops below the horizon, they're going to light up quite nicely. I say this all the time and it fails, <laughs> but today I'm positive. I'm going to get set up. We're probably about another 20 minutes, half an hour from sundown, red sky. If the sun does pop out again and cast some golden light on that there beacon, I'll be having it. All right, guys, this is this, oh, oh, so excited, so beautiful. Love this bike ride. So it's quite milky as that sunlight at the moment. So I'm just going to just going to crack off one frame. I'm thinking the killer shot is going to be the sunset shot because uh, those clouds are going to catch on fire big time, I reckon. But well, this will make a nice shot. That's quite nice. Nothing spectacular at the moment. Just waiting for a bit more sunlight. This is the first time I've used the Fuji X100F for quite a few months, actually. I've been using the, the film camera, the Bronica, for quite a while. I've been enjoying that. But tonight, fancied a little bit of X100 stuff. The shots I'm getting so far, it's just reminding me really how how good how flexible how versatile how reliable this little bad boy is it's an absolutely stunning stunning little camera and you know you get instant feedback so you know you're onto a uh, you know you're onto a shot so the sun's just dipped down over the horizon and i am now just waiting for that sky to light up. I'm pretty confident it's going to do, actually. I mean, it looks nice. Looks nice now. Taking the odd shot here and there. And it does look absolutely beautiful. I've just come around the other side of the beacon a little bit. Uh, just because we've got better cloud action going on that side. Not long before we get some clouds lighting up. Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> That bank of cloud from where I was isn't going to catch. It looked like it was going to do, but it's, uh, nah, it's not a lot there. So I'm making a mad dash to the far side of the beacon to look back towards the southeast because of the southeast, as you can see there, there's a little bit of colour. That little bit of colour will just finish this shot off quite nicely. Conditions change, you've got to change tack. Well, from this side as well, I get the other beacon, the smaller beacon, in the shot as well, so that's quite nice. So I wanted to work fairly fast now because uh, that change of position has messed me about a little bit. Oh, I tell you what, that is looking glorious. Because as well from this angle, I get a little bit of Napier Hill in the shot too. And there's a few lights from the port and a few lights on the hill now starting to uh, to go on and that sky above the beacon is starting to colour up very nicely I I love it good move coming this side so everything for a reason guys everything happens for a reason that is looking beautiful guys ISO 100 six and a half seconds F11 and that and that is lovely that is so nice. All right, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Absolutely. That's a banging shot. That is an absolutely banging shot. I'm just going to move around a little bit. The red band of cloud on the horizon there just seems to be arcing around the top of the beacon. So I'm just moving, moving around a little bit and making that, making that arc around absolutely beautifully. Okay, again, another shot. Six and a half second exposure. Love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, that is glorious. That is absolutely that's a spectacular shot. I love it to bits. Oh, it's beautiful. 
that is a wrap that's more than i could have hoped for actually until next time be safe be well be happy wherever you are in this beautiful world just a prisoner, Ooh. prisoner.